Good morning. I'm the Italian ambassador in Kenya. Here is the residence of the Italian embassy. We are here today to prepare a recipe, a typical Italian recipe, within the framework of the World Week of Italian Cuisine in Kenya that has been celebrated all around the world by our embassy's consulate in the world. So, we decided to choose a very typical dish from the south of Italy, in particular from Naples, which is called calamarata. Calamarata from the name of the, this special kind of pasta, but also taking this name from the, uh, the most important ingredient of this uh, recipe, which are calamari in Italian. So that this is, gives also the name to calamarata, but in English, the squids. We have a pasta, we have a tomato, squids and a parsley, garlic and so on. Olive oil and all. But also, it's a kind of a recipe that can very, very easily made in Kenya because almost all the ingredients can be found here in this country. Now, before starting the preparation of the recipe, I'd like to introduce my colleague, Giacomo, Giacomo Montemarani, which, uh, besides to be a very good diplomat, is also, has also some special skill, in especially in preparing uh, uh, aperitifs. So, while I will prepare the, 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 the dish, it will enjoy us with uh, some typical typical Italian aperitif. The main ingredient of the recipes, as I said, is squids. We must, uh, these are of course, must to be cleaned. These have been already cleaned. And now I will cut uh, in pieces, not big, but uh, small, let's say, as um, one centimeter. Okay, we'll take also the tentacles. Ready, clean. Okay, this is very good. So now we'll, uh, we will prepare a saute of olive oil. garlic and, which is an option, is not uh, some, someone does not like, some, someone likes, I prefer to use it because it gives it a little bit of uh, taste with a half of red chili pepper, but uh, first of all, we will put a generous bit of uh, olive oil. Then, We'll take a clove of garlic. What I do, I open the garlic because I want to remove the soul. Because this is the part most maybe difficult to digest. So I will remove the soul. And this is green, you can see. And voila. Okay. Okay. And we will put now in the oil which has been now heating. And we take the red chili pepper. It's Kenyan, actually half Kenyan, half Italian because it's, it grows here in the park of the residence. We take just a, just a half because it's very powerful. I can assure you. I can assure you. And we put together with, the, voila. Now we will put the calamari in the saute, but before I want to show you that we have to prepare the tomato, which is another important ingredient. Which kind of tomato is better this kind? Cherry tomato, definitely, okay? Which is very good. So we, we take a tomato and we start to cut in, uh, let's say, in four pieces, okay? That's a second three, uh, nobody dies. 
So I use a, a kind of uh, knife with this because otherwise they, they are not a kind of what it could be ruining the day. So we, we cut in this way. Okay, and go on. Okay, and so on. And tomato is a universal. Of a typical Mediterranean, but also here in Kenya, there is very good tomato. We are now ready to put the squids in the saute, and uh, we'll uh, put in this way, and voila. So we can amalgamate. It will start to release uh, the humor, the liquid of the calamari, the squids. Now we will put the white wine. Okay, a little bit the flame, and we wait that the the alcohol evaporates. Yes, it can smell that is evaporating. And we put in uh, the saute. Okay. And uh, we stir so you can amalgamate with the squids. Yes, the far is okay. Okay, now it will take a while to cook. We can put salt. And uh, if you like, I like a little of black pepper. It, I like a little bit spice. And we stir. Is the squid are releasing their juice. Yeah. Now we'll uh, throw the pasta and the important moment, of course, in the boiling water. bit the flame so it start boiling again and uh, now is another let's say option you can put or not uh, uh, tomato puree I like uh, because it's, it's always uh, tomato so we will put give also a bit of color it's organic uh, tomato puree so and uh, it, and we stir yeah mm. okay nice so let's see if the pasta is ready, as I said, that the, we will complete um, the cooking of the pasta in the pan. Hmm. I think it's time. La calamarata. Almost. With this water it's okay no problem on the contrary the boiling water a little bit will uh, help the pasta to amalgamate et voila last one so now we will put the parsley uh, generous 
Okay, so, okay. And, okay, so the flavor can mix together. You see, there is also a touch of Italian flag colors, but it's okay, considering the occasion. But again, are all ingredients and can be found in Kenya. Mmm, yeah, smell good. Okay, the pasta is ready. Now we are putting the dish in the. Okay. And voila, little bit of juice. And the calamarata is ready. Hello everybody, I'm Giacomo, I'm second secretary at the Embassy of Italy. I used to be a bartender, so now, uh, you know, during the World Week of Italian Cuisine, I'm going to prepare you something which is typically Italian and uh, also show uh, the way Italians like to, to enjoy their aperitivo before lunch or dinner. So, I will prepare for you a Milano Torino. Let's first put the most important ingredients of every cocktail, which is ice. You know, some people do, do not like ice, but ice is a very fundamental cocktail because it helps the, the liquors to, bend, to bind together. And ice is also very important for another reason. Because, you know, uh, bartender wouldn't tell you, but, you know, bartenders are like the Eskimo, you know, the Eskimos people. They build their houses with ice. Let's start with the bitter. And now the vermouth. Equal parts. Let's stir a little so that the the two liquors would uh, would become one. And then let's add a nice slice of orange. And here you are, Milano Torino. 